Hey guys, and welcome to a quick demo of the nice transparency package. Um, you can see we've got the very famous bootcamp soldier loaded, and he's currently using a bump diffuse shader. And if we now go ahead and change this to transparent and bump diffuse, you can see that we get a lot of artifacts, these bright spots. And if you have a look from over here, we've got those ugly um, polygons showing through and that's not really what we want so if you use the nice transparency package let me quickly switch this as you can see we've got we get a lot less artifacts we don't get these completely bright spots as you can also see we've got uh, both back and front faces and overall we have a much nicer transparent look on this model and in addition to that you can also exchange uh, not exchange you can also adjust the front and back follow values which mean that you get a so much softer edge as you can see right here we have a very soft edge and if we reduce this you can see that it changes now if we disable this soldier oh hold on yes please and then we can activate those cubes. So these currently use a um, transparent shader, a built-in transparent shader. And what you can see is we got this annoying artifact that things are drawn in front of other uh, objects. And we don't really want that because this one is actually not in front, but is actually uh, in this other cube. So what we can do is change this. Oh, hold on. We actually want to use layer one for, uh, no, layer two for these, um, which also brings us to another point. You've got multiple layers for all those objects. And as you can see right now, we've assigned layer one to the center cube and layer two to all the others. And what you can see now is that we no longer get all those nasty artifacts and in addition we also got uh, got back faces again and of course once again you can change the alpha fall off to give you smoother edges independently for back and front faces and what you can see now is if we go ahead and reactivate this soldier that he's actually drawn properly inside of this other, cu other cube which is because we have assigned layer zero to the soldier. And this looks much better than it would or originally do with the built-in shader. If we quickly change this back, as you can see, we've got a, we get a lot of artifacts and a lot of popping over there. And that's it. Thanks for watching.